Hi, in this video, we will talk about automate delete request using REST Assure. Okay, in our previous video, we have seen that uh, put request. So in this, we will see delete request. So we'll use this resource, the same resource which we use for the put, the same thing, same URI, and we'll specify the HTTP method that is delete method, and we'll send a request to the server, and we'll get the response, and then print or verify the response. Okay, so I want to delete something using API. So how you can you perform? You can using delete method, you can delete something using your API. So what it will, what it will do, delete request. Delete request is one of the HTTP methods. It is used to request the removal of a resource or data from a specified URI. Okay, you want to remove some data from a specified URI, then you can perform using this delete method. Delete request is often used to delete an existing resource on the server. Okay. If you have something that you want to delete, then you can use this delete request. Unlike post request, delete request typically do not include a request body. So for delete, you do not have any body. The resource to be declared is identified by the URI itself. So with the help of URI only, it can identify that resource and it will delete the information. Okay. So by taking one example, we'll see. So for that, the same API, so in our previous video, we have seen that put request, replace an existing it, uh, an item in the cart with the uh, product quantity we change, right? So here we will need to delete an item in the cart. You see there, carts, cart ID, items, item ID. With the help of this URI only, you can delete. So cart ID, item ID, where we are providing in the URI itself. We don't have any body. Okay, we don't have any body. So you'll get that 204 no content status code for success. Otherwise, you'll get 404 not found. Okay. So we'll see by take uh, this executing the same thing in the postman. So when I execute the same thing, said uh, in our previous video by using rest assured, we changed this quantity to 12, right? 5 to 10, then 10 to 12. So if you run this you see that it is 12, okay? So I'll try to delete this. I don't want this product, okay? So for that, I'll go to delete an item. You see that this is one of the end point I have written here. So in this, cart ID, this cart ID and item ID. So item ID, this is the item ID, right? This is the item ID, this is product ID. So item ID I'll provide here. Okay, cart ID, item ID, I'm providing as a path variable. And if I send, you say 204, no content. Okay, how will you make sure that if you come here, 4643 should, should get deleted. One, two, three, four. We have four items. If you run now, this is already deleted. So now we'll get only three. Send, you see that? the quantity 12 product is removed. You say one, two, three. So this is how you can delete. It means you can perform delete operation using API, okay? So the same thing we will see with the help of uh, rest assured. Let me go to Eclipse. So I created get all items from the cart. So I created one class called rest assured delete request. I created one method get all items from the cart. So we need to verify, right? So for that, and uh, another is delete item quantity. This is not item quantity. Delete item. Okay, delete an item from the cart or in cart, whatever it is. Okay. So first, let me. We need to construct that URL, right? So what is that URL? So this is what. So this we already did in previous video. So I need the same thing. Okay, so we need base URI, cart ID, and then uh, in the cart ID, we need to provide, uh, get the all items and we'll log. So I'm using DSL way for simplicity. So we'll, we'll run this one. Now we'll see only three items. Right, 
two, three, one item we deleted using Postman. So same thing we'll do here with the help of REST issue. Okay. So this we know already. Okay. In our previous video we discussed. So this is the end point. We have provided all these things. So coming to here, we don't need any specific information here, like in no body, nothing like that. So we need to construct the this information. And this is also same as put request. So we constructed here, right? The reason is endpoint also same, but we don't need any body, all those things. Okay. But here we need to update some data. So here, this is the base URI, cart ID is same. Item ID, we need to verify, okay? Item ID, so this one I want to remove, okay? This one I want to remove. That is what? 4646, four, I'll try to remove, 4646. Four, then it will have only 1225, okay? So this is what I want to delete. So now, way one is, now we can say, V1 so rest at shoot dot what is that base you are base you are a is equals to base you are a and then request specification so request spec is equals to rest assured dot given okay we don't have any body we don't need to specify anything okay so directly we'll get the response 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 is equals to request spec dot what is that method delete method in the delete one it what we need to provide endpoint that's it we are done that simple it is Okay, now I'll try to assert the assert equals response dot status code and then that is 204. That's it. Okay, so what I'm trying to remove this one 4646 product ID. Okay, we constructed the that endpoint and uh, base URI from here to here. Base URI here, this is path variable. This is path variable, right? Because of that, sorry, this is not the same. So this is, yeah, yeah, cards only, same thing, right? Here we have cards, cart ID, items, item ID. Okay, we constructed that. Okay, we, we, we cannot directly give this colon. So because of that, we are constructing that and we are passing here in the end point, okay? And then base URI equal to base URI, request should not given. And we do not have any content type. We don't need to mention. We don't have any request body because of that. Directly response, response is equals request pick dot delete. Inside the delete, we are providing the endpoint. And once it is performed, we are verifying that we are getting 204 status code or not. The reason is we don't, we don't get any response body. Okay. So now we'll try to execute this run. It is success. So how will you get to, get to know, right? So now if I try to get all items from the cart, we'll have only two now. You see that? We have only two. What is that missing? 4646 is missing. Okay. If you run here again, here also you can see only two. The reason is with the help of rest assured, we deleted that product. Okay. This is how you can perform delete operation or delete method using rest assured. So we'll try to do the same thing with DSL way. Okay. Very simple. Rest assured dot given. So inside the given, we don't need to give anything. Okay. Then what we need to do? When? But you need here base URI. Okay. So base URI. 
we need to provide sorry so here when what we need to perform delete and we need end point then dot status code to not code that simple it is okay but this item id is not there okay so we need to take another item id so i'll take this 1225 i don't need 1225 so i'll delete delete that for that item id is this one okay so when i try to execute this now this will also get deleted we'll have only one product okay run with this dsl way you see that success so how we'll make sure that we'll try to execute this method and we'll get the output and see you see that only one is left so here 1225 got deleted and only 2177 is there if you run here also this is same output okay if you try to the same thing again run you see that resource is not a, there is no resource if you go to here you see 404 not found if the resource is not available then you will find a 404 that is what we are getting so working fine right so this is how you can perform delete operation using any api and you can delete data or space from the space uh, a particular uri otherwise you can delete the uh, the entire uri whatever it is okay so this is how you can perform delete in rest assured okay that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you